guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we are here. We are here. We are here to do Agent Carter. I should say, react to Agent Carter. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah, this is Because show we haven't that... watched any Marvel in a while, and we're just, we want to watch stuff. <laughs> we do. We do. Um, we should say, too, that we are gearing up this... We were going to do it a while ago, and then things got really busy, and then the world ended, and then we're trying to figure out the Six Feet Apart thing, all that stuff. But, uh... We're doing it now because a little a bee in our ear. Is that, is that the phrase? No. Bird? Yeah. Bird. Birds and the bees. Yeah. Think of uh, that bald guy from Game of Thrones. who always had his little birds. Yes. That little bald guy in our ear told us that if you want to be really ready for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7, you really should watch Agent Carter. And it's because it's something I wanted to do anyway. Mm -hmm. Aaron and I are going to fucking binge it real quick. Uh, on our own time outside of most blind wave hours. So uh, don't expect this treatment for other shows. I know other people are going to be like, you can do that that quick, but no. Okay? So we're, we're doing no, this. We're doing this because we, 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 we're on a short time span now. But there's something I wanted to watch and react to a long time ago. And then there's something I wanted to watch a long yeah. time ago. And I was like, maybe we'll react to it. I don't know. So I just never watched it. Yep. Now we don't have any time. We talked about maybe just, well, we'll just watch it on our own. But then we're like, no, nah, but we wanted to react to it and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I want to do that too. So this might not have the longest discussions of any of our videos, but you know for sure we're going to be catching up for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because it's probably still my favorite, my favorite show. show of all time. Favorite show. So Fuck I will boss. do the homework for that. Hey. Man, what? You don't have to do Fuck that. Fuck Okay. Well, I'm all pissed off, but I'm ready to go. Uh, and as a special treat, because this is the first episode of a season, mm. everybody can check out the full-length reaction down below. We're going to be having full-length reactions for every episode of Agent Carter, but if you want to try it out, you can do that right now down in the description or the pinned comment. Okay? Yes. Uh, you can also watch the next reaction, Early Access. We are going to be re releasing these uh, once a week because this is a lot of work for the editor to be able to do this. So by the time Agent Shield pops up, we probably will have watched the entire thing and you're only seeing a couple of the episodes yeah, however, however far we've gotten along with it that we can yeah. so it, it'd be it'd be a method of having to edit and render and all that on mm -hmm. top of the other stuff that editors are already doing too so yep. before we get in though I want to say like as far as this show mm. I don't really know anything I want to focus on Agent Carter yep I imagine it takes place after Captain America <laughs> yeah and before Endgame yes <laughs> you know what I mean yeah but also that changed everything too so I imagine that has nothing to do with this at all yeah can't wait to see Daredevil on it you might be disappointed. Damn. Well, that's, that's all I know. Is there anything I don't... Um, I mean, yeah. I, I know I'm pretty Pe blind on Peggy, this. Peggy Carter, because we watched Endgame, there was a character that appeared in there that I'm like, oh, I hear that guy's from Agent Carter. So I'm expecting that. I'm expecting maybe some uh, Papa Stark stuff, maybe? Because that's... He was in oh, that Howard? Career. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be um, cool. And then maybe some Hydra stuff. Okay. Yeah. Right? I don't really know what she gets into and what they do, but this is before S.H.I.E.L.D., so I'm interested to see yeah. what, what happens with the uh, SRR. SSR? SSR. SSR? Yes. Yeah, SRR like is this the pre shield. The British people. Yeah. Is it? The SRR. It's like the special Something like that. Something regime. Maybe we'll learn more as we watch Agent Carter now. I <laughs> know this. Give me your code oh damn, this is taking right after Captain America, isn't it? Oh, it's a sting. Damn, this thing moves right at right at Captain America. But I can try and force it down. I don't want I know that feel feels already, Aaron. Dang, man. All right. You know how busy the office keeps me. Hey, you work at the phone company. Mm. It ain't life and death. <laughs> you have no idea. You work at the phone company? Yeah, I like the logo. Oh, it's, it's the yeah. SSR logo. Man. She stands out so much here. I feel like we really nailed our background colors. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say Krasinski? I wasn't talking to you. You owe the lady an apology. Oh. oh. You standing up for her now, Susan? Susan. Better hurry, I don't have all day. This is one nice guy here. Yeah, or at least. Oh. He must get it too, huh? That, no one, man, that stand up thing. What a jerk. I hate him more now. Yeah, just, I know. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not work here anymore? Is that Farva? <laughs> Super Troopers? Huh? Yeah. Do you ever see Super Troopers? The guy with the soda? A liter of cola! That guy? That's Farva. You're coming with me. Oh no! Oh shit! He might be good, <laughs> but he definitely didn't give off a good vibe. Ah, damn. She knocked him the hell out, though, didn't she? Yes, she did. 
This guy in the car is just driving so slow. He's just gonna run hills, damn it, no! It's Howard! I know. I should have called first. Did you miss me? Wait, was that was that guy Jarvis? I think so. Was that Jarvis? I think it was Jarvis. <laughs> I'm calling in a setup. But when you're not humiliating him, that fellow up there is my butler. Edwin Jarvis. Edwin Jarvis. I'll help you in any way you can. I owe you one, pal. I wonder if he's like like a special forces Alfred in recent Batman. Like he knows how to do yeah. shit, but he got knocked out by Peggy earlier. <laughs> it's like showing like the, the ratio of like and he is that good, but look at Peggy. Yeah. Call any time for nine. What happens at nine? My wife and I go to bed. Seven o'clock, Sherry. Eight o'clock, Penny Goodman. Nine o'clock, bed. You're new to espionage, aren't you? Far from it. Last summer, I caught the cook pocketing the good spoons. Oh. Put down Miss Carter. I'm sorry, Daniel, but Stark hates water. He can't even swim. Will? How do you... He tried to kiss me on VE Day. I knocked him into the Thames. We had to get frogmen to fish him out. <laughs> <laughs> Got word of a fence trying to sell one of Stark's inventions. Club owner named Spider Raymond. Where's it happening? Need to know only. I wonder if I might request a sick day. Well, I got a headache? Amongst other things. Ladies' things. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just make them uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take a day. Go shopping. Whatever makes Go you shopping. Know. Jesus Christ, man. Standing. Enjoy your coffee. Did they not know the shit she went through in the war, man? Oh, she shows up as a blonde. Just because that one line and be like, the only things he lets pass her. Whatever in blondes. Yeah. Blonde! I told Jesus you! Jesus Christ! Why couldn't it be a redhead? Why couldn't you let it be all about redheads? What is it? Ma what's. Who? You want more? Aaron? Yeah, you might as well finish it off. Yeah, uh -oh. right, that guy's. Uh oh, right. picture, picture was taken, Eric. I'm looking for Mr. Raymond. Too bad we started the show. One or two sweet dreams. Sweet is it dreams are made of. Is it a lipstick that puts him to sleep? Probably that's what it is. I hope you don't find me forward. Well, I'm not the judgmental type. <laughs> hey, boss, there's a guy downstairs that's... I guess I'll just have him wait. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was a bit premature. <laughs> Didn't want the kiss yet. <laughs> Trying to get more information. <laughs> Whoa! Right. Whoa! How the fuck does that work? I don't know. It's fun though. Uh, I like it. Ourselves, while it's the soul. Crikey, Riley. Oh, what the? What's what the that? What the fuck is that? I thought it was gonna be like my golden air and shiny and shit. Is that what Marcel Wallace had? Is that is his soul was inside that ball? I don't know. Uh, I won't be a moment, Anna. <laughs> Get back on the wall. Mr. Jarvis, you do realize that this job will have certain after hours requirements. So does my wife, Miss Carter. Good night. <laughs> I like Jarvis. <laughs> yeah. Who is this guy? Fuck is that guy? This guy looks like a rat. Right? Like, he's bad or something. And he looks like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that in there. Get the hell out of there. Hi. What? Oh! 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 oh. Okay. Did he get stapled? Oh, he got stapled. Jesus! He's definitely stapled. Aaron. Too little prick. Uh oh. No, no, no! Definitely should have closed it. Ah! Uh -uh. Listen, friend, I know we had a deal, but the blonde must have taken it. Ah, oh, this guy. Gotta fix this. Here goes Spider. Don't touch the core with your hands. Dude, if you mess this up, you can kill your roommate. 500 yards, kill everything. Oh, oh. that looks bad. All right, let me bring that stuff in. All right. Are you getting high in there? Yeah, that's why she got that, probably. <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> Oh, what? Is everything all right? Hope Colleen's up. Is oh, it okay? No. It's probably that rat. Colleen? She's blonde. Oh, no. 
Oh, Son of a fuck, bitch. Man. That dirty rat. Ugh. Damn, man. She just had a fever. Such a nice girl. Oh, come on, Peggy. Oh, refrigerator. What is that? Mark, I got... I don't know. Ugh. Ah. Why is that on? Harry's gonna catch fire. Oh! I a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Damn. No, knife. Actually, that was cool. I like yeah. that. Out the window! Fuck. Man, he is he's not dead, there. Right? Can't do that thing. We're just not there, you know. He's up there. He's not there. He, he fell like three stories after being rats can burned and fall from far. Can they? I, yeah. Have you done that? I don't know how far. I'm not a rat. Fall. Damn it, Colleen's dead. Oh, dang! Oh, more. So they just have like a factory making this junk? Yeah, they gotta, she has to get the actual formula, right? Is that the rat guy? No. No, that's not the rat Can't guy. Can't be the rat guy, right? Isn't it cool? It's that guy. It's that guy. What is that, man black stuff? What was that? I don't know. No, don't run with that. If you drop it, everyone dies. That's far enough. Oh my gosh. Uh, Who are you? That's why it isn't dog. Just trying to make his mark. By murdering people. What's that called? A trick? I don't murder people. Leviathan is coming. Leviathan? Who? They'll tell you themselves soon enough. You're not gonna like the future, such as it is. Oh! Well. Okay, it didn't happen immediately? Yes, not. 500 yards? Is it bulletproof? Oh. Now! Do not being shot at. Okay, I'm sorry, I... Oh! Dude, this we... place blows how much like, more than you. Stand here, here, we shoot. That's what we do. Could you be slightly more specific? No! Jumping in. Jumping on. Oh. Ah. This car's up. Whoa! Whoa! Don't you want to get in? Cool. Yeah. Good job, Peggy. Right, We've only got 10 seconds. What happened back then? Yeah, I don't know whether the rock song blows up. How much more does it blow? Right? Oil! Faster! I am going faster. Oh, they're gonna die. It's the end. Implosion! Yeah. Jeez. Man, that's just one of those little balls. There was a whole bunch of those balls. Why didn't you stop her? They're still putting staples on his face. <laughs> Get that. You think that picture's gonna come back they took? Have you called my house? Oh, we got a picture taken. Like, wow, let's and do it. Wanna, the whole thing? Not casualties? I would just say, they came from the building. <laughs> let's go to you two, you with me. <sighs> well, there's the information yeah, I mean, there. That was straight up her face. I'm not sure I'll sleep for days. Got that adrenaline rush. I really like him. Yeah. I want a goddamn liter of cola. I understand you're not happy with your meal. You order? Her? The fool should have been there. Just so we're clear, this is Preston. She'll break your artery. You may be dull, but I'm determined. Keep smiling. Once you start to bleed, you'll lose consciousness in 15 seconds. You'll die in my tear unless someone comes to your aid. <clears throat> to prevent this not entirely unfortunate event from occurring, I suggest you find a new place to eat. Go and stun each other. Yeah. Good. Oh, one more thing. Tip generously. Oh, shit. Miss Carter's an excellent choice. I don't think she'll have any suspicions at all. Hmm. What? What suspicions? Hmm. Is Howard bad? That is it. Alright. Uh, I mean, so far it feels like Peggy from Captain America. I mean, that was the only real Peggy that I had. Yeah, I mean, having not seen this, I kind of just expected, well, I mean, Peggy did amazing during the Red Skull stuff. And then because of that, she became the leader of this stuff. And then we had a we had a scene of her in S.H.I.E.L.D. one time, right? They were, like, chasing something down. 
right? Didn't she have like she had like an o- opening scene and it was Peggy Carter? She was doing something. And I thought she was like the leader of Shield or something. Maybe. And I always thought that's just how it was. So I kind of expected Agent Carter to be more of like her starting Shield or something. But and it still could be that. But right now I didn't realize that she would have like because of the world that she lives in. It's a very ma- you know male dominated thing. She had to like do it all over again. Pretty much. I remember in the middle of this episode that there was like a. Like, a, like, I think Marvel did these shorts, right? They had those shorts were like... One shots. Yeah. And they would do stuff. I'm pretty sure at some point I saw one that was kind of like that, but it was based on Agent Carter, Peggy. And it was one of these things where, you know, she was the, like, secretary kind of lady. And she went on her own to this facility. Yeah. And fought a bunch of guys and got a briefcase. And that was, like, her whole mission. 2013, directed video short film. Yeah, you're right. I, I, think I, I think I remember it too. I think it's the only other thing. Like I didn't. I forgot all about it until we were in the middle of this. I'm like, oh wait, I yeah. kind of remember that. So I think that kind of set me on the idea of like, well, she's in like that. This is a man's world kind of thing, and you're a woman, and they're gonna look at you like this, which she's combating the whole time. But there was the consultant, which was uh, I can't remember consultant. the consultant. I remember a funny thing happened on the way that Thor's hammer was Coulson. Item forty-seven. I can't remember that one. Then there was an Agent Carter one. Then there was All Hail the King, which was in the prison whenever they killed. Uh... Item forty-seven. Was that the one? Some people got some kind of weird alien item, and they were like in a hotel room. I remember something about that. It was like a couple or something like that. that yeah, happens. Benny and Clara down to luck couple find a discarded Chitari gun. And like they're robbing places. They go to like a hotel Left at one over. point. The couple uses the rob banks, drawing the attention of Shield against which assigns Agents Sitwell and Blake. Sitwell is one of the he's one of the Hydra, Hydra guys. Yeah, to retrieve the weapon and neutralize the couple, Sitwell tracks the couple down to a motel room and gets wrecked in a in a confrontation. <laughs> Stolen money gets destroyed. Yeah, okay. So it had a Sitwell thing. I don't know if I ever watched that one. I vaguely remember it, and then I remember the other one too that was about the Mandarin. Yeah, I remember that. But yeah, one year after the events of Captain America: The First Avenger, which this seems to be like it seemed like almost a couple years, after, right? Oh, I thought. What year was 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 Captain America? What year? Yeah, because this was forty six. Um, well, was it like that was right towards the end of the year, yeah. or the, the end of the war. But I mean, it's enough that like her bullet wound has, it has a yeah. scar now. Like that's been healed, so yeah. it's been a little bit with that. True. So there's like some time, but like I didn't feel like there was like a big gap. Yeah. The one shot is Peggy Carter is now a member of the Strategic Scientific Reserve, the SSR. She faces sexism from her boss, Agent John Flynn, who mm-hmm. treats her condescendingly and keeps her uh, compiling data and code breaking while assigning field cases to male agents. One night alone in the office while the men are out together, Carter answers the case line to hear the location of the Zodiac. Through three to five agents, though three to five agents are recommended, Carter decides to go on it herself. Fighting off multiple guards, Carter is able to retrieve Zodiac, the mysterious serum, herself. The next day, Flynn reprimands her for not going through the proper procedures, dismisses her as just an old flame of Captain America, who was given her... So it's pretty much just this. And then it says here, uh, however, before he can officially punish her, the case line rings again, this time with Howard Stark on the other end, who informs Flynn that Carter will co-head a newly created shield. Yeah, that sounds right. So, I remember that. He was at the pool, right? He was calling her from a pool or something, I think. I remember some scene like that. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm wondering if this takes place then before that, and yeah. then we get to that eventually. Yeah, I don't with know. With Howard Stark, like, getting out of this. I, I did like Howard Stark in the uh, the Congress court thing, because yeah. it reminded me a lot of Tony from episode... Or he also kind of had a real movie. classic, like, newsreel, like, you know, talk like this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Which is good. That's the definition of unknowingly. Yeah. You know, yeah, I get to there. But I, I like that because he had, it wasn't to the extent of Tony mm-hmm. in that court Congress case thing. Yeah. But it still had that kind of snarky, like, mm-hmm. sure. Stark. Mm-hmm. Starkisms. <laughs> yeah. I like seeing Jarvis here, too, because I remember in an end game now, like, seeing, like, oh, dang, is that Jarvis? Oh, that's so cool that that was Jarvis and they named all yeah. this. But it's cool to, like, well, now I get, I'll get to see Jarvis. Yeah. Besides just like, oh, look, there's Jarvis. And I bet I would have been really excited then had I watched this. Sure. No, I think it's going to work well because, I mean, let's face it, Agent Carter is an absolutely beautiful woman, but Jarvis seems very dedicated to his wife, so I don't at all suspect to have any, like, things in there, you know. So that's good, I think. What's the suspicion thing that they're talking about? Uh, I don't think he suspects a thing. Like, maybe there, this is a test to groom her to be the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. Oh, like he rigged all this to Maybe. test her to get her to be a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of Possibly. thing? Possibly. Maybe like they're they're going one level deep spy even more Maybe. than the SSR to create S.H.I.E.L.D. 
Yeah, I don't think she suspects a thing. Because, I mean, we know that Howard Stark is part of S.H.I.E.L.D. We know that, um, yeah. all that stuff from Ant-Man, so. Yeah, true. Yeah. Howard, that was older Howard, right? Yeah. Because that was a different actor. Yeah. And then Pym and Peggy, right? Yeah. Weren't those the three that were there? I think so. Or Pym, maybe a fourth guy. Uh, Robert Redford's character. Okay. Yeah. So it was Redford, Peggy, Howard, and Pym were all mm-hmm. there. So, and they were all part of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. right? So, I mean, we got to get to that point at some point, right? Yeah. Just to get out of the way, uh, obviously this was made before Endgame, obviously in the canon of everything. This is probably all changed because I think Captain America made that date now. Well, yeah, with the time travel stuff, yeah. the way our paths are now on that is it's a different, like, yeah. timeline that we're on mm-hmm. where the, the past is different. But, and, you know, we'll be talking about this a lot later this month, but with S.H.I.E.L.D. going into some time travel stuff at the end of last season, and then you have this, I'm curious to see what's going on and what's yeah. going to happen. How but, does it tie things together? Yeah. Or what, Do we see, maybe maybe we watch this, and then we see how it happened in this new timeline or something, yeah. too, you know? Yeah. I have no idea, because the thing it left off there was, like, they went back into the... 40s or 50s. And they like, like 20s or something. Wasn't was it, it the 20s? Maybe it was. Was it that later? far back? I think it was pretty I can't far back. Remember. It was. They were building the Empire State Building. Yeah, they were. So that would have been in the 20s. Wouldn't yeah. It? Well, I mean, whatever the connections or anything are, those are things that maybe we can talk about in show when we yes. get there. So we'll just focus on this. In terms of this, Colleen dying and like so quick, I just didn't expect that. Yeah, that, that me was off really hard. shocking and sad. But, I mean, we have Daniel Souza. Is that how you say his last name? Um, I just put Souza. Yeah. Souza? Souza's right. Who um, I see being a, a, a pretty good character in this. Mm-hmm. Edwin Jarvis, I wrote that down. I wrote down Raymond, too. But you know, he's dead. We Spider have these, Raymond? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> we have these two guys that both have the X thing like on their the y, neck. Y, yeah. But one's afraid of the other. You know? So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't I mean, know I'm assuming what, they're Leviathan. Like, are they both, though? I'm he assuming was like, Leviathan is an organization. And that they're agents of it? Maybe. One's a scientist and one's a assassin. I don't know. He's like, if he's here, then we're both dead. But yeah. maybe he's also working in fear of them. Yeah. But he has so much of that orange ball shit. Yeah. A lot. And it's in a milk truck. And it implodes yeah. stuff. Like, that was crazy. No, that actor, I've seen that actor before, and now that you mention it, he does look extremely much like the Ice Truck Killer, but these are not the same. This guy reminds shorter. me of him so much. Yeah. You should look that one up. You should be like, I am to be, who's this guy? Does Dr. Vanko sound familiar to you? It did too, but I'm worried that I'm thinking of uh, the stuff from DC, that, that Ivan, uh, uh, what's his last name? Yeah, it's close. Something Co., right? Dang it, what's his name? I kind of want to look it up. What's the name of that book? Amazo. No. No, the button no, name was amazing. What's, the, what's that guy's name? That has it's that like name? Vanco Industries or something like that. It's something along those lines. Yeah. I can't remember. But his name's Anton Vanco. I don't know. When I ever said Dr. Vanco, I'm like, it sounds familiar, but maybe I'm thinking of DC. I'll tell you what, there's somebody named Dr. Vanco working on coronavirus right now. Thank you. Ooh. Vanco is the name of Whiplash from Iron Man 2. Isn't Whiplash? I want my bird. He's a Vanco. So this could be... The guy who so this, hates Howard Stark this because his dad. Hates him? Yeah. What kind of accent did he have? Russian. I think he's a Soviet. This guy was. Yeah. Doctor Anton Vanko. Yeah, I knew it was Anton because. Uh, who made a brief appearance in the Iron Man sequel as the father of Ivan Vanko, otherwise known as the villain. Okay. Whiplash. Man, that's what I'm thinking of Ivan. Yeah. Dr. Okay. Um, Vanko. Yeah. That, that's so. Boy. This is that's the dad that dies. Okay. In the beginning of that movie, then, right? And gets he got nothing because he betrayed. Didn't he betray? He said that he stole a lot of things from him. Is what he thought said. Hey, maybe he's behind this. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm that glad I wrote down, and we we both like perked up like Vanko. I feel that guy should know that. But it's been a long time since I've watched Iron Man two. It's not my favorite of the Iron Man. Yeah, I get you. I watched it all before Infinity War. Yeah. And that's been gotcha. that's been when I last watched it. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think they said there were six pieces of Stark tech missing. So this formula is one of them. So do we have five? Well, Howard more? was leaving to go f- follow Leeds on one. Yeah. And then this was another mm-hmm. one. That was a piece of paper that is now a real thing. I don't know if. I'm curious if this is going to be this season mm-hmm. or if this is going to be an element of the season and she's going to solve this like in the next few episodes. Yeah. And then she's on to the next one. Don't know. So. Pretty don't good. Know. I um, like it a lot. I think it, I, I, it has a nice. I feel like it has a nice feel to it. It, yeah. very, it feels very much like she's back in the 40s. It's very much the spy part of the comics and not the comic part of the comics. Except for that's in the technology, I suppose. But, you know, it's kind of like early S.H.I.E.L.D. was very spy And then we got 
as we went on, we're like, okay, we're a lot more comic book now, you know? I guess so, yeah. So I feel the same way about this, and I like it. And, I mean, I just, I, you know, this was the one corner, probably, I think, the one corner of the MCU that I just never touched because we were like, oh, we're going to do it one day. And that is this day. There's a whole lot more to talk about, but we don't have a whole lot of time. we gotta, we got to rush. So, no. next time. Thank and you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes of this and S.H.I.E.L.D. that's going to be coming back. And you can see next week's episode of this already over at patreon.com slash blindwave. And don't forget down in the description and the links down below. If you didn't, you can watch full length along with us. That's available for everybody. You can find the links down below for that as well.